The DPP's and KMT's mayoral candidates for Geelong on Thursday canvassed for votes at major transport hubs in the city. The DPP candidate Tai Shi In recently announced a joint proposal with the mayoral candidates of other northern Taiwan cities to launch an ambitious monthly transport pass. Meanwhile, the KMT candidate expressed reservations about the plan, wondering why the proposal wasn't announced earlier. To attract votes from commuters, the DPP's mayoral candidate for Jilong, Tsai Shiying, headed to Jilong Station early in the morning to greet locals. Meanwhile, the KMT's candidate Xie Guoliang did the same at Sankang Station. The two candidates headed to important transport hubs to canvass for votes just days after the DPP's mayoral candidates for Taipei, New Taipei, Taoyuan and Jilong put forward a proposal for a monthly transport pass for the four cities costing 1,200 NT. I won't oppose any measure that helps commuters. My issue is that the DPP has ruled for seven years and Lin Yotang is in his eighth year in office. Why did they wait until the last six months of the term to propose this? Xie Guoliang responded to the proposal yesterday and beat it down. It feels like he doesn't want to see Jilong improve. We're working hard to promote this. His reaction sounds like sour grapes to me. I can understand criticism, but he doesn't get it. He's clueless about urban governance. The mayoral race is heating up in Jilong. Another issue of contention is a recent accusation from former lawmaker Huang Guochang, who says Tsai Shiying may have pressured the Ministry of National Defense to sell land at a cheap price. Former Presidential Office Secretary General Luo Zhiqiang also weighed in on the matter on Facebook calling on Tsai to withdraw his candidacy and confess his guilt. Xie also commented on the matter on Thursday. The section chief said there was pressure. That section chief knows everyone in the legislative yuan and is the one in charge of managing the land of the Ministry of National Defense. The Ministry of National Defense admitted they had been in communication. If that's not pressure, then what is? At that time, I was not a lawmaker. In fact, back then, the KMT was in charge. Luo Zhiqiang is trying to pin this on me. It's simply unbelievable, jumping to conclusions. The DPP and KMT mayoral candidates keep trading barbs on the countdown to Election Day.